So hello. Um, from our last video, I was discussing about the float switch and also the electric uh, water valve that I bought from Lazada. So what I'm going to demonstrate now is the plans on how I will install um, those two devices in our water tank. So as you can see right here, I have indicated the, uh, the pipes that are going to the tank and exiting it through this particular pipe right here. And um, I've also drawn the float switch and it's now connected to the solenoid electric water valve, um, which will control the flow whenever um, this particular switch turns on or off. So like I said in the last video, um, I've set the, flit, the switch to turn off when the orientation is pointing up, meaning that the so, meaning that the water is almost full and it will turn back on if there's not enough water and the orientation of the float switch will now point downwards. So as you can see right here, I've also created a bypass valve um, in case that there is no electricity um, in our home which is very rarely uh, it rarely happens but just in case at least we have some some means to uh, mediate that um, this is the blown up version so basically I have two T's here and a couple of elbows and also a valve here and what we have here in the Philippines is we use PVC pipes um, to maintain our uh, water so as a matter of fact I actually bought the wrong size of um, the solenoid valve I bought a 3 fourth size while our pipes here runs through uh, a 1 half but it's fine because I could just buy an adapter and I could install that uh, quite easily so also which I didn't um, discuss in my last video, um, I could also put an indicator light um, that will that will um, turn on if there is power going in, or meaning if the switch is turned on. So that works in parallel with the solenoid electric water valve, and also a uh, pressure gauge which can also indicate um, the, the, the amount of flow coming in to the water tank. So um, that's it. So the next slide we will, I will show you how to, uh, to build um, this contraption right here. So see you there. All right, so I've completed the assembly of this um, piping uh, system that I made that I also showed the diagram of so as you can see right here you have the electric valve and also the bypass valve and this will be inserted right directly to the existing pipes going in the tank um, to do so the uh, the parts needed here are very easy of course I can't really give you exact specifications because um, your plumbing might be a lot different than what we have right here so um, but basically what you will need are PVC pipes a couple of T's a couple of elbows a valve and also some adapters for your um, solenoid going to the PVC pipe um, so I just used a uh, half a meter of PVC pipe I used a, a hacksaw and also a file to clean up the the cut that I made 
Um, this is still not permanent though. Um, I haven't glued everything yet with my uh, PVC solvent uh, because I just wanted to have a feel on how it would look like and um, see if it will work. So I think it's gonna work though. So um, you're gonna need a uh, what do you call this? A uh, um, a Teflon tape to seal the brass uh, thread. Uh, inside the PVC pipe here the PVC adapter and also for wiring the electrical I'm gonna need um, some wires and also I've already installed a, uh, a socket so it's very simple to wear um, you could buy a more expensive one which uh, can withstand the weather um, but uh, we really don't have snow in the Philippines, so we're just expecting snow. I mean ice. I mean, sorry, rain. So I'm just gonna complement this with a, uh, a conduit pipe, uh, which is made out of um, corrugated PVC. And um, you could also complement this assembly with some silicone um sealant which i bought so i really love this brand the plastic brand um and also to tidy everything up you're gonna need some cable ties and also um for this assembly of course you're gonna need a vice grip definitely a vice grip so there um that's basically what I'm gonna use and I'm gonna see you in a bit outside. 